Hey there everybody, it's Paji. Uh, so I've been getting a few requests to do another how-to video uh, relating to things outside of the game. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about how to install uh, the Chris's configs. So like, because you guys can see like whenever I do POV things it's generally, for example, someone says Minecraft or something like that. Um, well, Basically what this is, is uh, it's a config that helps raise your frames if you have a computer that isn't uh, very good. Like for example, I'm playing on a laptop all the time and until I can get the money for it, that's what I'm, uh, for like an actual desktop, that's what I'm going to have to do. So I compensate with lower graphics, plus like I like how it looks, so it's okay. But um, so this is what we're going to have to do. So. You're going to have to go to this website. It's going to be called chrisdown.name slash tf2 slash. It's, uh, or you can just type in Google uh, tf2 chris config. And it's just going to be right there. And then, so what you do is just you download the zip archive. Uh, just put in your downloads. Uh, mine's already there. So when you get to your downloads, it's gonna say right here. You're gonna you're gonna have this folder right here. You're gonna extract it because right now it's or right now for me it's a folder, but you have to. It's gonna be a zip folder. And once you're in there, you're gonna have all these different things. And you have convert frames. You have DX9 frames, high frames, max frames, max quality, uh, and medic. Um, there should also be high quality in here, but mine is currently on the desktop. Here, let's let's put it back. That was my that was my mistake. I'm sorry. But yeah, this is what's gonna look like. So I keep mine on the desktop because uh, for quick switching for videos. But um, so basically, what you, what you're gonna have to do is if you want the max frames config, uh, you're gonna open it uh, in a notepad. Yeah, and it looks like this big jumbled mess of things. You can uh space it out and make it look all nice and pretty if you want to, but it's not a huge deal. I mean, it's still going to do the exact same thing. So, uh, what you're going to want to put this in your auto exec. So, to get to your auto exec uh, config, you're going to want to go to your uh, C, program files, 32-bit, uh, so times 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Team Fortress 2, TF, CFG. And in this folder, it could be it might be like mine where it already has all these configs already set up for example auto exec uh, demo man engineer heavy weapons all of your class configs and stuff but the one that we're going to focus on is auto exec if it's not in there then all you have to do is just open up a notepad and save it as a uh, like it would be auto exec dot cfg that's all it's going to be and if you save it as a CFG, it'll recognize it. As, uh, the game will recognize it as a CFG if you put it in the right folder. So, back to our auto exec. So, I've got a bunch of other things in here. That's just for other things. That's for uh, competitive. But here's my max frames config. And I didn't feel like putting it all together, like organizing it, making it look pretty, because I constantly switch out uh, between max frames and high quality for recording purposes. But um. So basically what this will do is it'll lower your textures, lower your stuff, remove the eyes, make the game look all gross, or, I mean, I don't think it's gross, but a lot of people think it's gross, um, and your game will run better. And there, this isn't all you're supposed to do, you, there's still a little bit more you have to do. So basically, uh, next thing you have to do is uh, go to your launch options, and to do that, you go to your library, your TF2 library, your Steam library, sorry. Uh, you go to TF2, right click it, hit properties, set launch options, and now there's a bunch of things in my uh, launch options right here that have to do with uh, the config. So let me show you where it is in the max frames, or it's going to be like this in any of the configs. So launch options. It's at the top bar. It says important, remove, DX, level, whatever. In this case it's 81 from launch options. So there are two different uh, two different styles. So if you're a player like me who does full screen, then you're gonna want to copy and paste whoops. 
you're going to want to copy and paste this section. Wow, thank you. Notepad. This is probably why it's a good idea to <laughs> uh, why it's a good idea to organize it. But yeah, here it is right here. You're going to copy all of this and then you're going to paste it into your launch options. So right now this is what it would look like on your first time. So you go back, you see DX level 81 dash full. That means that you're going to have a full screen. You're changing your uh, your resolution. So for me it would be uh, 1920 by 1080. If you have a better resolution than that, that's fine. And then you have this DX level 81. Uh, what you want to do is turn on uh, your TF2 and then uh, close it out and then delete this instantly so that uh, your game doesn't get all messed up. Uh, the same thing happens with uh, your windowed TF2. So the only thing is uh, the difference is instead of full it says SW which I guess that means windowed. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, lastly, if you are a person who still likes seeing ragdolls and gibs and stuff like that, uh, the frames configs actually disable those. So the way to enable the ragdolls, again, it actually has that in the, in the config. So right here it says disable ragdolls, and then it's got a bunch of lines of code. After that, it says enable ragdolls, uncomment this section if you want these settings. Now, they're going to be a bunch of like double backslashes in most uh, in most uh, programming languages. The double backslash means uh, commented. Uh, MATLAB does percent percent signs, whatever. But uh, the double comments, so you'll just have to like here. For example, here I'll put them in. Uh, they're going to look like this. So and all across the line. So you're just going to have to delete them so that it can enable your ragdolls. The same thing will happen with Gibbs. I think, yeah, Gibbs are the same way. You'll have reduced, it'll say you'll have reduced perform performance on deaths uh, with Gibbs, but you can enable them the same way. You just uncomment the section. Uh, currently, mine is uh, not, uh, it, it's still commented because I don't need Gibbs to be happy. I'm a sniper. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, if there are, any, if they, if you guys have any more questions about uh, the Max Frames config or the high quality or Chris's configs in general, or if you want a tutorial on how to do other things, like for example, if you want me to actually talk about how to script properly, um, I can do that as well. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, give it a like if you liked it. Uh, give me a subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, and thanks. Have a good day, guys.